guys, this is Amanda from DevotionInAction.com, and we are starting off our Philippians series with the theme Joyful Service, and I've made this uh, freebie that you can use to trace, but I have done something on the other side of this page, and I can't really see this through the page. So, I'm going to turn my Bible to where I can kind of see it better, draw better, and I'm just going to draw it off of here. I'm using my ruler so that I can gauge the height of the letters and kind of where, how long they're gonna be, where they're gonna be on the page. So that's why I made myself two lines with the pencil and then I'm just kind of looking at the shapes of the letters uh, of this graffiti look font um, <clears throat> so that I can see uh, where those shapes are. And you're seeing this sped up a little bit. Uh, if I make a mistake, I just erase or kind of widen that line. It's um, it's a good idea to kind of do this sometimes because I found that I'm not an artist, but it helps me uh, start to learn to draw a little bit better. It helps my drawing skills to look at the shapes of things uh, and how they relate to one another and then try to copy that uh, drawing from looking at a picture. So um, I... I meant to trace it. It would have been easier, and certainly you can download the freebie at my blog, devotioninaction.com. Uh, but if you are um, if you are like me and you've done something kind of dark on the other side of the page and it doesn't show through, this works too. <laughs> so this is the word service, and I don't know why. I really kind of thought of like this graffiti look font and then a happy cursive for the joyful, almost like happy graffiti. It's like... Um, even in kind of the dingy places of our life, uh, God can bring joy and uh, beauty and some creativity and fun. So that's kind of what I was thinking with this. As we go through uh, Philippians, we're going to be kind of keeping an eye out for how Paul lives out a life of joyful service. And specifically in chapter 1, um, this is really cool because in the very first verse, he calls himself and Timothy servants of Jesus Christ. And then he goes on to talk about how uh, even him being in prison is an act of service to Christ. Um, so now I'm kind of looking at how this joyful is going to interact with the service word. And I had to stop for a second there and just take a look at it because I had to get it straight in my head, um, <laughs> how that's going to work. Um, and then just, I'm just kind of drawing out these with the pencil and then I'm going to go over them in black micron pen. Now I'm going to give you a little tip because I did not have somebody do this with me because I made it up. So, um, <laughs> Uh, when you do this, if you do the same thing, if you print out the freebie and do it, I would do the pencil and then color it in and then outline in black micron pen. It worked doing it pencil, then black micron pen, and then coloring in, but I found that some of the black micron pen I did not wait long enough on, and so it was, um, it smeared a little bit, which Actually, I wasn't too unhappy with because it makes it kind of look even more like a graffiti type thing. It looks a little dingy or a little dirtier. Um, uh, so I'm not completely unhappy with it. A happy accident, I guess. But at the same time, if I had realized that it was going to do it, I would have either done a heat gun on it to try to dry it faster, given it more time, or um, done the coloring first and the outlining second. So there you go. Tips from someone who has already made the mistake so that you don't have to. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm just outlining this. I'm probably using um, a 05 black micron pen that size. Uh, get, I want to get some nice thick lines on the outside of this, but I also want to be able to control it in smaller spaces. Uh, for the little tiny circles and stars, I think I grabbed a, a 1 for most of them and came back in with that. But for the outlining of the letters and the filling out of those black spaces, I used uh, a 05. Uh, so that's what that's what's going on there. So Paul says that in this letter to the church at Philippi, the Philippians, um, he says that if he lives through his imprisonment and the trial and everything, if he lives, that's that's good because that's fruitful labor. He's working for Christ. He is a servant of Christ doing work on the earth, leading people to Christ. But if he dies, that's great too because then he gets to be with Jesus. So no matter what, uh, Paul has joy and he has joy and love for the people around him. Now, I, th this is amazing to me. He's going through an extremely stressful situation being imprisoned, but, um, and it would probably make me grumpy, uh, to not be able to do what I want to do, go where I want to go. But 
uh, he keeps a life of joy and he's still serving Christ and leading others to him. So this is what I use, my Prismacolor colored pencils. Um, and I decided to go from like light yellow to red through the oranges. So we're going to kind of make kind of a rainbow effect blending. I like the warm, happy colors. It feels joyful and full of the fire of the Lord, I guess. <laughs> and that's why I chose it for this. Um, so starting out with that yellow and just filling in. And then as I go, I'm going to stop maybe like midway through a letter and grab a different yellow. There you go. And um, a little bit darker and I'm moving toward those oranges. So I, a couple of times you'll see I'll grab one and it actually turns out to be a little lighter than the one before it. You just grab another color and go over the top of it. When you're using kind of these different shades of the same hue, that's not going to hurt anything. You, you can layer them up. Um, so here we go. So Paul is joyful even in the midst of enormous stress. And so I started thinking about how does he do this? How is he able to keep that joy even in this stress? And I think the key is in the beginning of the chapter, he talks about how in his prayers, he's thanking God for the Philippians, the people at this church that he's writing to. And he thanks God for all of them in their heart of love and of service and all that kind of stuff. And he's thanking God for the opportunity uh, to serve Christ in whatever way he can. And so that attitude of gratitude, that gratitude and prayer partner together to help uh, Paul live that life of joyful service. So if we start our lives with an attitude of gratitude and prayer, communion with our Heavenly Father, and we maintain that, we can keep our joy even in the moments of stress and service and uh, dirty laundry on the floor and fixing meals for picky eaters and um, serving others in the midst of natural disasters and all kinds of really stressful, really discouraging times. We can still be servants of Christ and his ambassadors to the world. So I'm fin finishing up, getting to that kind of reddish orangish color. And um, you'll notice that there's going to appear on the page some uh, little stars. And oh, here, that's where it uh, kind of smeared. And I'm just going back to kind of sharpen up those circles. That's all I was doing there. Uh, some little stars and some music notes and things around this. I just felt like it needed a little something extra. Uh, those are going to appear in a moment. Here I'm underlining some of the key verses from this devotional, which can be found at devotioninaction.com, and I'll link that in the comments below uh, on YouTube as well. But um, So I'm kind of underlining those verses, and then... I thought that I had recorded drawing the music notes and the stars. I just kind of doodled those in, but um, then they weren't on there when I downloaded my video to my computer. So there they are <laughs> right there, those music notes and stars all around. So there we go. Joyful service. Here it is. And here's what I use, just pencils, micron pens and colored pencils. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching.